Hey, it's the dark skin savings, my neighbor. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, man, today's video, we got the insane plot armor of cats by Casual Geographic. Oh, anyway, man, we're going to get into get this video, man. Man, damn. Yeah, yeah, cats do got one of the most. I forgot to mention, cats is always. <laughs> them niggas don't care, bro. Oh, Lord, you are What the fuck? The term used to describe a character so overpowered that they make the game stop functioning as intended and exploit the game's balance in their favor. Well, if cats aren't the most broken animals on the planet, God must have discontinued first place. I talk a lot about animals that got shafted by evolution. In fact, my most popular video today was about 10 of them. Well, if I ever do a video on nature's favorites, cats would surely be at the very top. Cats are arguably the most successful predators we've ever seen. With so many yeah. overpowered abilities, you swear it was plot armor. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even want to make mean. this intro too long, so here's 10 superpowers your cat has that you may or may not have known. Don't and number one, lying, bro. zero fall damage. Yeah. You probably heard that cats are always on their feet, but the real flex is being able to fall from heights that would have any human furnishing a coffin. A Wait, how far can they jump though? Like how far? I know they got they got but they got can, range. Them niggas can fall from any range. <laughs> they can fall from like they could fall from any ten story building and still survive, bro. God damn, yeah, bro! Because they glide, bro. Yeah, them niggas, them niggas actually glide. Well, then they be scared to jump from a fucking tree. Yeah, like, because they, they don't, don't actually know they can yeah. glide, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they just know that the niggas fall. They is, their natural instinct is like, spread my fucking wings, bro. <laughs> well, <laughs> can, imagine, like, bro, you scared of heights, but if you have to react, like, nigga, you know birds how to are, fucking You know birds are just... like that, too, when they're born and they don't know how to fly yet? Or like oh, yeah, they, it's like they're, like, scared. Their mom pushes them out the net, yeah, bro. Yeah, mom, them, niggas, so them niggas got to learn how to do it, bro. But see the day you die, nigga. Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. But the real flex is being able to fall from heights that would have any human furnishing a coffin. A 1987 study showed that out of 132 cats that were brought to an emergency vet in New York City after falling out of a high rise, 90% lived and less than 40% required life saving treatment. It gets even wilder when you realize that cats actually have a better chance of getting airdropped from a building and walking it off the higher the drop was. And it's all that hot. cats understand. That nigga look like he hits the shit out of that ground. You accelerate though. towards the ground until you reach terminal velocity, where you literally can't fall any faster. When cats reach TV, they splay their legs and kind of just parachute the rest of the way down. And instead of landing on their feet, they break their fall with their chest and abdomen. Obviously, they don't completely tank the hit, but thanks to their relatively large surface area to weight ratio, they maximize the points of contact that smack the ground and therefore minimize the damage. And since cats apparently have lifelong beef with gravity, cats that reach terminal velocity instinctively know not to tense up, but instead relax and basically turn themselves into a kite on the way down. The thing is, if they don't have time to reach terminal velocity, they end up getting hurt way worse. So like, in a weird twist, cats that fall from two to seven stories actually end up more down bad than the ones that touch earth from 10 stories up. In fact, yeah. cats have about yeah. an so they force the themselves to reach terminal living. velocity. Meanwhile, the average human has a 95% chance of getting out. That is shot. so backwards, bro. Yeah. You would think it would be backwards. Yeah. Like, man. nigga. It's because they actually have to, like, activate their, yeah. spread out their kiteness and land. Flow. And land. But you know, if it's, like, a short shit. It's a short period of time for them to even get to that stage. Good thing. So it's better for them nah, to No, like they have to go fast. Like they have to reach max falling speed mm -hmm. in order to like to build up absorb them. more of the impact. But if they're not even if they cause they're gonna react regardless, even yeah. if they fall out of two percent like a two story building, they're not going fast enough for them for their body to like how would I say it? Because it's saying it's it's better for them to fall from a higher a shape higher because that's terminal a, velocity. Yeah, 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 they'll reach like their max. max they, yeah. they try to fall faster, basically. That's that's worse. from ten stories up. In fact, cats have about a ninety-five percent chance of falling from ten stories and living. Meanwhile, the average human has a ninety-five percent chance of getting outlined with chalk. <laughs> oh, don't think the cut off ten stories either. One cat named Sabrina took a 32-story express trip to the ground and walked away with only a punctured lung and a chipped tooth. Not to mention she was released and sent home two days later. Being impervious to fall damage is how snow leopards can not only make a living in the Himalayas, but can legit fall clear off a cliff and the only injury they take is to their pride. So what about Speaking lions? Armor, Do they have that you know cats are actually built know. to predict the weather? You see, cat yeah, here attracts static electricity, so they can no, every the animal have that ability. charge and often comes before a really bad storm. And the cat's inner ears are sensitive to sudden drops in atmospheric pressure, which announce the arrival of a cloud assault. Technically, so can we. It's why our ears do the most and pop on a plane, but it's just that cat ears are that much more sensitive. And they can even smell rain and lightning coming. 
it's so I can do that. Sailors used to use cast aboard ships as a four-legged forecast. So forecast. No, oh, yeah, forecast. Apparently, a cat with the zoomies means you could expect strong winds. A cat that sneezed was warning you of heavy rain. And apparently, if one licked their fur against a grain mid-sail, then you better make like God's dolphin, because it's been a hail. Now, to be fair, a surrounded by nothing but sea and sea men gives you a lot of time to just make stuff up. I mean, just how many sea monster stories was just a whale freeing his willy? But there might be some truth to the cat thing. Cats will often spend extra time licking themselves before a bad storm, since having damn fur helps with the static thing I told you about. So basically, if cats could talk, we see a lot of meteorologists on unemployment. And speaking of no job, cats really managed to finesse their way into living in nearly 50 million homes in America rent-free. And one of the biggest reasons is because cats are the best manipulators nature has to offer. And they're good for pest control. You're probably a mark and you don't even know it. According to researchers at the University of Sussex, many cats will exploit their owners with a soliciting purr. It's more high frequency, triggers a sense of urgency in humans, and even someone resembles the cry of an infant, and we just have to assume that's intentional. And in experiments, not only did humans have a faster response time when hearing that purr compared to a normal one, it even affected people that never owned cats. This distress purr likely triggers a deep, innate nurturing response in humans, meaning you're literally hardwired to answer to it no matter what you were doing before. So apparently cats understand psychology too. That's not even really a joke because adult cats almost never meow out to each other. But kittens do it with their mothers for food and warmth and we have to assume they just figured out it works on humans too. And it's not just pet cats with this talent. Tigers have been known to imitate the sounds of their prey to lull them into a false sense of security. Tigers have reportedly mimicked sandbar deer and black bears. But just, just listen to this. Are you mooing because you want to be one with the cows? That's cool. They want to and it's not just that motherfucker. Oh, oh, that's crazy, bro. It's like they will like try to fucking make them motherfuckers feel like, oh, oh that's a dead yeah, like, that's, a, that's another cow. He's just a look at an odd looking one. Bro, that's crazy how shit is created, bro. And it's not just tigers. The South American Marge will verbally cosplay as a baby monkey just to mark his parents like a Disney movie. And clearly the manipulation tactics were passed down. In fact, cats are so good at working people that they'd actually be great politicians. Which is probably how Mayor Stubbs of Tolkien, Alaska stayed in office for 20 years, even surviving assassination attempts by dogs, BB guns, and a deep fryer. But there's another special ability cats have, and it could arguably be the most overpowered of all. Pretty privilege. It's how dolphins got flipper, orcas got free willy. Meanwhile, the best movie deal shark management could get them was being typecast as Jaws. You see, there's this thing called baby schema. It basically means that humans have an intrinsic bias towards a certain set of facial features in people and animals, to the point where it just makes us want to protect them. And with their big head, wide eyes, and round forehead, cats literally remind us of babies. And even though it's a buff from nature, cats will 100% play into this by figuring out what combination of ear wiggling, whisker pointing, and eye narrowing gets the best response from people. Now add the fact that slow blinking with your cat can trigger oxytocin in both of you, the literal hormone that bonds a mother to her child, and you can see how cats were basically engineered to be irresistible. It's pretty privileged on every steroid possible. And it's wild because if any oh, other animal had a reputation for holding difference in global genocide, Fuck these niggas! You're not manipulating me like that! Cat cuteness virtually has us in a choke. I'll flip the shit out that baby reason. ass kitty. It's Man, that shit ain't working on me. And, let, and, and what, and protect them too? Like, God, they, bro, they trigger hormones in your body that makes you want to protect them? Yeah, like, I'm flicking the shit out that baby. Y'all ain't doing yeah. shit about it. Y'all gonna watch me. Just, nah, that shit work with y'all ass, nigga. Nigga, you got all them dead cats in front of y'all. Well, I know, yeah, that shit got, got, got me. They <laughs> got me. No more. Fuck that. Hey, yo, nah. I'm pushing cats off my window from now on, bro. No more food for me, bitch. Y'all catching the karate chop, my that nigga. That is crazy, though, bro. That nigga be manipulating the fuck out of me. got me for years, nigga. <laughs> Bro, that's why the oldest people be. That's why y'all hate them bro. niggas. Now I see why y'all hate them niggas. <laughs> now I see why y'all hate them niggas. I wanna uh, kick the shit out of one now. Fuck the cat. I'm so all y'all cat lovers out there, man. Nah, I'm fucking with y'all, bro. Them niggas don't they ain't even cute to my ass, nigga. I, I'm scared of a motherfucking cat, nigga. Get that shit out of my <laughs> damn face, bro. Cat humans virtually has us in a chokehold. I said virtual for a reason. It's said that 50% of all internet traffic is driven by cat content. That is cat. I I knew I wasn't capping. I knew I wasn't capping. That is true. I fucking knew I wasn't capping. I swear to God, I know what's happening. Funny shit on the internet is fucking cats. It's always cats, cats bro. Yeah. I knew it, bro. It be dogs too sometimes, but it's mostly I, I, cats. I'm from even being funny. It's like they use. If you notice, they use cat for literally everything now. Like, even my girl, like, she, my girl, she sent me, she was sending me, like, about 10 memes of just cats. 
I don't care, cats bro. are always doing some shit, I do not bro. care what nobody says, bro. Cats are the most popular content creators out there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it used to be dogs. Yeah. Shit, now, man. I feel like if monkeys wasn't as wild, bro, I feel like them niggas would be taking over the internet. Yeah, like, yeah. Fucking monkeys, bro. Yeah, monkeys. Them yeah. niggas. But it's just like, cats, animals. bro. It's always something to do with fucking cats, bro. <laughs> 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 internet traffic is driven by cat content. Look at that. That's fucking get out of here. Left hook, right hook, hook, bro. I want you to think about that during this ad. Matter of fact, I'm going to put money on it. For some of y'all, this ad's about to be cat related. <laughs> Oh, you're back. Oh, by the way, was it was it cat related? I'm actually curious. But the thing that almost always gets forgotten is that cats give back as much God, as they we take, watch that. which leads to their next flex, healing powers. And not just for them. Science says having a cat living under your roof easily extends your subscription to life. Studies show that cat owners are 40% less likely to suffer a heart attack and have a 30% less chance of getting clapped by cardiovascular complications. What? And since cardiovascular disease is one of the leading causes of preventable death today, cats are like a real-life one-up. Not to mention kids that grew up around cats have less of a chance of getting folded by allergies. Especially if the exposure started in early infancy or even while they're still in the oh, waiting room. And then there's the fact that just petting a cat can nerf stress levels and blood pressure. But if you really want to get literal about it, cats provide a frequency that's said to improve bone density, repair tendons, and promote healing. I never really fully understood it, but apparently cats provide a frequency that transmits vibrations throughout the body. Vibrations that help increase blood flow to the affected area, thereby bringing more nutrients. It's also believed that those same vibrations can help with soft tissue injuries like sprains. Right, this nigga I know I said- See, but them feral niggas knew all this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, that's, that's why, why I, that's I why love I'm... cats. That's why I fucking love cats, nigga. Like, nigga, I'm about to go get me a cat now, nigga. I fucking, <laughs> I love cats, nigga. That's why I fucking bro, love bro. cats. That's why I grew bro, up with cats. I'm about to kick this nigga out my window. Bro. Man, I'm fucking out. Nigga, I, I grew up with cats my whole life, bro. I bro. really fuck with them niggas. Them niggas man, is my homies, bro. Fuck that Kittens shit. Kittens and everything, man. Those, I can't with boys. cats, bro. Man, I can't either. Oh, shut up! You oh, were just talking shit, man. I love I feel, cats. I feel like it's also because boy. I feel like that's probably why even my girl be trying to send me cats because she knows I don't like cats and she wants she want us to have one in the future. I'm like, um, no, we not. Yeah, you like, gonna get good. a cat? I already see. Your yeah, ass I can gonna see your ass cat. Get a cat in your house. Just don't get that type of motherfucker. Yeah, don't get them ugly. Don't get them ugly bald motherfuckers. I ain't getting <laughs> no cats. This shit look like a damn goat. Fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a monkey like cat. Yeah, so now they said they live rent free, but considering all they do to carry our health. Again, I, I feel like we could let it slide. It's not just a buff to your health either. I vividly remember seeing a bunch of surveys that said that women on dating sites actually find men with cats more attractive. Something about seeming more nurturing or emotionally yeah. intelligent. Man, I'm don't put that, that out there. Like, oh my, my god, this thing has a cat. Damn, that shit like a damn tiger. Yeah, that's a motherfucking tiger, my nigga. <laughs> I tried to find the articles online, but apparently there was a switch of it. Now women find Imagine getting tested. So on another unrelated so note, yeah, he isn't mine. I'm actually just cat sitting for a friend. Shout to you, Yusuf. Yeah, but anyway, cat <laughs> <all> <laughs> is so yes, strong that it might just be able to save you from cancer. We've all heard the stories of feline physicians what? detecting it in people before anyone else could. Cats have a sense of smell about 14 times stronger than humans, with their 200 million odor receptors to our pitiful, almost embarrassing five. Five million. Tumors produce volatile organic compounds, and these VOCs leave the body through sweat and breath. And there's a lot of respected researchers out there that will die on the hill that cats can sniff it out the same way dogs can. In 2018, rescue cat Mia climbed on owner Michelle Pearson's chest and wouldn't get off for anything, sniffing and pawing at, you know, the right one, while also meowing and looking at her, as, as cats do. It wasn't until her husband checked for himself that he felt the telltale lump, and that's how the cat that was rescued from certain death ended up returning the favor and saving her owner from stage 2 breast cancer. And that's not even much of a that's reason crazy. There's also stories of cats wanting their yeah. diabetic owners of their potentially fatally low blood sugar. Either that or cats can see the future and they'll choose to keep you in theirs if they like you enough. And even that's low-key valid considering superpower number seven is that cats have ultra instinct. Those whiskers can detect sudden changes in air currents to figure out the size, shape, and speed of nearby objects. It's like a whole way of a system growing out of their face and it's how a blindfolded cat is still hell on earth for any mouse in the area. Bro, I still don't think you're understanding just how much of a cheat whiskers are. Cats can even use their whiskers to figure out what direction their prey is trying to dodge it in right before they pounce, allowing them to cut off any possible escape How? Routes. How? Oh, what the it's fuck? It's thinking pretty cool, but to a mouse trying to make it home to his family? It's not. That's gotta be some bullshit. <laughs> they just have them on their face. They have whiskers all over. And you can't even play dead with the cats, since they have carpal whiskers that allow them to tell if their prey is play or, you know, actually past tense. What the fuck? And honestly, this might be the most broken ability cats have. It's what? basically impossible to catch a cat slipping. 
They don't have to hear you. They don't even have to smell you. Oh, but the tent is, do they eat the, Because I don't know shit about cats. But do they eat them damn rats? Well, they so they be just kill fucking them. them niggas up. They just be killing Sometimes them. Sometimes they'll just kill it to kill yeah. it. They, yeah. It's like I don't even think they be eating nation. them. They, no, they eat them. They, they will eat the fuck out of a rat. For real? Bro, I've seen a fucking whole ass rat in a, in a cat's mouth before. Like, sure. tail hanging out and everything. You just see that motherfucker walking around. <laughs> what the I've seen fuck? that shit myself, mm. nigga. I mean, I mean, I'm sure a I'm a nice, I don't have to be putting them in the mouth like that. Like, they can have them in the mouth hanging and then they just go spit them out. Some shit. I don't know. I've never, like, really. Yeah, maybe maybe know, they dude. maybe they do eat them. I don't know. I've also seen them niggas be gnawing at a fucking bird, too. <laughs> they don't have to hear you. They don't even have to smell you. All it takes is a small exchange in air currents to dry snitch on you. But as predators, cats are the ones that do the sneaking, which only makes their next ability even more of a jihad for their prey. Superpower number eight. <laughs> Cats are athletic freaks of nature. Yeah. No, seriously, cats are the most athletic group of animals on Earth, and I'm going to stand on that. Yeah. There might not be a single event at the Olympics that one of the 40 flavors of feline can flex on us in. You want speed? Cheetahs can go 0 to 60 in 3 that seconds. That is true. You got it over 70 miles yeah. per hour. A cheetah on a Sunday morning That's jog. That's crazy. Is God damn. You just see how that thing was. Oh, my them. God. Cheetah can go 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought she do that. We, we didn't even be no, no, I knew that, but I'm it's just like, it's crazy just to crazy. Know that. that shit faster than... Nigga, that's that shit that's that's some of the most fastest cars yeah, in the real world, is crazy. bro. Yeah. Like the, not even some of the most fastest What's cars. Nigga, nigga, that don't fucking, even hit that top speed, bro. I don't even know how, how fast a Tesla plaid go. I think it's like 2.7, bro. That shit can keep up with that shit, bro. That's crazy. That shit crazy. Hour. A cheetah on a Sunday morning jog can still get pulled over on the turnpike. Damn. Damn. Trust that nigga up there, dude. Cougars can clear 45 feet horizontally yeah. on an off day. You want to see a cat get high minus a catnip? The circle jumps so high that their real prep literally involves pimp slapping words right out of the air. And for powerlifting, here we have a literal deadlift by a leopard using only its teeth. That's true. Yes, that is a rhino. Yes, that is a giraffe. It's what? There are also gymnasts on steroids oh, that turn trees into jungle gyms. Oh and if you think you're God. safe from smoke and water, keep in mind that the caiman is part of one of the most successful group of predators in history. And all it took was an aquatic equalizer in the form of a cat to wreck their entire game plan. Not to mention jaguars have been seen swimming clear across the Panama Canal. Yeah, that one. Also, they have a hydraulic press for a job. God help you if you get caught in it. And all I need to say about Tigers is that this is an Indian gar, and even this walking Red Bull logo can get choked out by a 500 pound strike to get a little bit. I don't even need to say anything about it, so tries that speak for themselves. Cats are nature's population control. There isn't any room outside true. of the devil's That ain't, I just said it too. They go for cats too, right? nigga. Even the travel size ones are a menace. The deadliest cat in the world is the African black-footed cat. Because their metabolism, not only can they catch up to 15 bodies a night, they also have a hunting success rate of 60%. Not even lions, tigers, and leopards can touch that. There's nigga, a that's more than half. Millions of animals on shirts a year. And sometimes yeah, it's yeah, like a regular cat. Season. So every time they hunt something, they have a 60% chance of getting successful. A lot of times with domestic cats, they do it. Just for fun. Yeah, you yeah, think it's cute, but it's bloodlust. And if you're a mouse and hop with whiskers, it's like Thanos. They do be inevitable. Especially when you factor superpower number nine. Cats can teleport. I'm dead serious. Cats do this thing where they just spawn wherever the plot needs them the most. Yo, as solitary <laughs> hunters, cats can cover insane amounts of distance in times that really make no sense. Take mountain lions, for example. Young male cougars will often travel hundreds of miles away from their mother's territory to find their own. In 2009, a tag cougar took a walk that took him from Black Hill, South Dakota, all the way to Greenwich, Connecticut. Basically, he hiked from Mount Rushmore How many days? from Manhattan. And it's not just cougars that go cross country. How many days did he say he did that? He did three, three days? It was like... What? I think it was like three cougars will often travel hundreds of miles away from their mother's territory to find their own. In 2009, a tag cougar took a walk... That really made no sense. Take mountain lions, for example. Young male cougars will often travel hundreds of miles away from their mother's territory to find their own. In 2009, a tag cougar took a walk that took him from Black Hill, South Dakota, all the way to Greenwich, Connecticut. Basically, you hike from Mount Rushmore to 30 miles from Manhattan. And it's not just cougars that go cross country. A tiger named T1 managed to walk 800 miles across India in only a few months, fueled by nothing but the power of horny. And of course, there's the story of El Jefe, a jaguar that randomly showed up in Arizona just outside Tucson. I could really keep going. From June 2017 to July 2018, a young lynx trek from the wildlife refuge in Alaska all the way to the heart of the Yukon. A trip that totaled 2,174 miles. His name was Hobo, by the way. 
can't even make that up. But the best story of teleporting cats was Clementine Jones. She was a cat in New York whose family left her behind because they were moving and they figured the trip would be too hard on a pregnant cat. Oh, little did they know. Clementine spent a couple of months with her kittens and then one day just headed out and popped them at her old family's home 1,600 miles away in Denver. And it's not even like the family got tricked by a dude. Clementine was born with an extra toe and had a burn mark on her shoulder. There was no mistaking her. There's only one cat power that's arguably more impressive, and you saw it coming as soon as you clicked on this video. Superpower number 10, mind control. And it's all because of a little parasite called, you know the name, Toxoplasma gondii. It all starts when this parasite enters a cat because they literally only reproduce in their bowels and their eggs don't get passed until the cat has a movement, usually in a litter box. Now here's the problem. The Toxoplasma gondii needs to find a way back into the cat in order to hit restart on its life cycle. And the best way to do that is by setting up shop inside one of the animals on its grocery list. The only issue is no mouse that values its life is going anywhere near a death sentence with toe beans to make it happen. So the parasite, which by the way basically uses the mouse as a layover, they begin to rewire its brain in order to remove the fear of cats. And I don't even know how, but infected mice can even start feeding for cat pee. With more irrational confidence than oh, yeah, the like hunting models, that's comments, like hunting it's easier for the mouse to get body bagged by its number one op, thus repeating this vicious mouse murking cycle. And of course we now believe that when this same parasite invades us, they do the same thing they would to a mouse. Which is why popular opinion is that the toxoplasma parasite causes an unreasonable attraction to cats. And it's possible that this factory reset of our personality is due to the parasite making enzymes that control dopamine. And it's not just humans that can get infected. Turns out afflicted hyena cubs end up bolder in the face of lions. Which is a great way for them to get invited to a meet and greet with Mufasa. It's not 100% proven that the parasite's responsible for all the cat people in the world, but hear me out. There's proof that this parasite was present in ancient Egyptian mummies. And these were the people that straight up worshipped them. Not to mention up to a third of all people alive right now have it. And most have no idea. And that's why I say cats have the wildest plot armor I've ever seen. Because real talk, only cats could spin a parasitic infection into a way of living for free. Trust me, I would know. Isn't that great, me too? And that's that why cats are the most broken animals in nature. With, with cats being nature's cutest form of population control, I talk about them a lot in my book. Hold on. Sorry, bro. Okay. With cats being nature's cutest form of population control, I talk about them a lot in my book, 100 Animals That Can Redact and Kill You. Link in the description if you want to see for yourself. But make sure you drink water, hug your mother, hug a cat. It might just save your life. And if he allows it, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Aw, oh, you're such a good boy. You're such a, you're such a good boy. Okay, okay. You can go now. Oh, so that's the only voice you responds to? So before oh. anyone judge me, this is the only voice you response to. Okay, okay. You can go now. Oh, there you go. Dog. Nah, that shit <sighs> crazy. I love that guy. That shit crazy, bro. Bro, it's like, that's crazy as fuck. Don't they be shedding yeah. every goddamn way, though? Like, they fucking yeah, they hair be fucking a lot, every fucking way. That's one thing I don't like, bro. Nigga. This hey, shit I learned a lot about fucking cats today, man. Oh, wait, was he saying that the fucking cat showed up at the owner's house, bro? Yeah. yeah. The cat that ran away and it's like another moved. family when they came moved back. <laughs> like 2,000 miles always, later. And I was always told that cats have very poor memory. Like, they don't know. Like, when it comes to sense of direction, mm -hmm. I was always told that niggas do not, they get lost easily. No, but they always show up at the front step, though. So you, talk, you can't even say it. Them niggas can be gone and just... Pop they up. will pop up in front of your in your door. That's why people just be letting cats go, bro. Yeah. Because they, they know how to come back to your fucking front house, bro. That shit weird, but you let a dog go. A dog will forget that shit. Mm. Dog will forget that shit faster than a cat. That but that's it for this video, man. We hope you guys enjoy. What's your opinion about this video? Let us know in the comment section. So. And please don't forget to... Like, share, subscribe, subscribe if you're new. God, God loves you. God bless you. And Weezy out of here.